On this episode of Behind the Badge, it's back to school time with Officer Carrie Kelly. We'll meet someone who you really need to look up to, literally. And we'll ride along with Officer Don Pham of the Motorcycle Unit. Let's roll. Hello, I'm Officer Miguel Colon from the Watertown Police Department, and you're watching Behind the Badge. My name is Officer Kerry Kelly. I'm a Watertown police officer. I've been a police officer for 20 years. My role is the school resource officer at Watertown High School. My role as a school resource officer is to help be out there in the community and making these connections not only with the juveniles and the youth here in Watertown, but their families as well. I'm able to work with the schools and programs within the town to consistently give wraparound services. Officer Kelly has been the SRO at Watertown High School for nine years. With a college degree and a background in education, she plays an important role in the daily operations of the school. Not only is she popular with the students, the principal appreciates her hard work and dedication. Kerry Kelly has a, an amazing ability to really keep an eye on the social emotional well-being of our students. So while her formal role may be liaising between the police department and keeping our school safe. Her informal role is actually taken over as just being another staff member here and keeping everyone uh, smiling and laughing and all the while making sure that, that we're safe. Do you need anything? Yeah, you know. I won't. Her background in education has uh, given her the ability to really see what teachers need and how teachers are working with their students and, and where she can fit in. She understands that everybody plays a unique role here and not one person plays all of those roles. I end up going into the classroom, I usually wear plain clothes and I talk about how not only am I a police officer and this is my job and I love my job, I am also a daughter to someone, I am a mother, I am a wife to my husband and it's really great to get that opportunity to share that information with them and answer the questions that um, the students here at Watertown High School have about my job and about how I feel about things that are going on in society. It's unsafe for them. It's really important that you get that person the help that they need. So I've been here at the Watertown High School for nine years and for nine years I have stated the same thing over and over again. I try to encourage kids to use the three second rule. If you're questioning something you're about to do, the three second rule is, is it gonna hurt myself, hurt someone else, or can I get in trouble for this? And if you can, you really need to say no to what you're doing and move on and find a better choice. She's like a teacher that, that dresses up in a police uniform every day. Um, and I mean that as a compliment. Um, you know, she's, she's fully embedded and she knows the best way to, to act in her role and she's very sensitive to you know, the current climate, but also just sensitive in general to student need. Um, and, and she puts students first, which is uh, all we can ask for for an educator. Now, if you're a Bruins fan, then you'd be familiar with a program called Shirts Off Our Backs. In 2014, the Boston Bruins honored first responders who've done outstanding things for their community. Our very own Miguel Colon was invited for his heroic service to the people of Watertown. Oh, and he has a pretty cool story about his night at the garden. So I was uh, part of uh, Shirts Off Your Back by the, uh, by the Bruins. Miguel Colon, a seven-year veteran and patrolman for the Watertown Police Department. So the players take their jerseys off and hand it to like some people. So uh, I don't know if it was a height issue, but they put me with uh, uh, Chara. <laughs> so I get on the ice and I'm standing, they introduce me. Zidane Chara, please meet Miguel Colon. The guy is enormous. I mean, I'm 5'6". The guy's about almost seven feet tall. Wicked nice guy, by the way. He said, you know, you know, thank you for what you do and all that, but I'm just almost laughing as he's handing me this jersey because the thing probably up to my knees. 
<laughs> That's a moment that I'll never forget. Hi, my name is Don Pham. I'm a police officer at the Watertown Police Department, assigned to the patrol division. I am also on the motorcycle unit for the Watertown Police Department. Officer Pham has been on the WPD for three years as a patrol officer. At a very young age, he was into cars and motorcycles and couldn't wait to get his license. Little did he know that when he got a bit older, he was gonna get an opportunity of a lifetime to combine the two. So I got my driver's permit at 16 years old and at the same time I applied for my class M permit. I was always into motorcycles. I bought my first motorcycle at 16 and a half. When the position opened up to get on the motorcycle unit here at the police department, I applied right away. You know, why not? We'll give it a try and, and it's well worth it ever since. So this is the Harley Davidson uh, Electric Glide. Obviously when we ride it's two hands on the steering wheel or the handlebar. Uh, which we, where we connect to the lights that are on the motorcycle. Um, and we can also access the sirens too from here. Some of the equipment that we have on here, we carry an AED. So when we respond to calls, we can also help someone out. We have uh, Narcan first aid kit. So we put this on the saddle. There's an identical saddle on the other side of the motorcycle that we can store our uh, personal equipment, such as rain gear for when the weather turns bad, we still ride in bad weather. It's definitely a little bit of an adrenaline rush. Obviously, when we get what we call as a hot call, you know, it's getting to the scene as quickly as possible. It's a little bit scary because when we're approaching intersections, you know, a lot of people don't even see a police car. But once we get the, uh, the open road, full throttle, feels good. So I started riding on a Yamaha R6, which is a super sport bike. I learned the safety tips on how to ride a motorcycle, uh, especially a police motorcycle. Completely different, but every day when I get on and I continue to ride, I get more comfortable with it. As a Watertown resident, Officer Pham is very connected to the community and loves serving and protecting its citizens, no matter what the situation might be. Okay, move along kids, move along. Living in Watertown, I can say that Watertown is a very diverse community. Everything from Armenian, Greek, Vietnamese, Cantonese. A lot of police officers within the department speak those languages. Being able to speak their native language helps out a lot. It makes them feel comfortable and we're able to connect with the community a lot better. Xin chào các bạn. Em tên là Don Pham, một người cảnh sát của thành phố Watertown. Các bạn đang coi Behind the Badge. Next time on Behind the Badge, we'll take you on a tour around the police station with Chief Mike Lawn. You'll get a behind the scenes look at how our officers prepare for a patrol shift. And we'll meet the person in charge of keeping those officers safe and on the move. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.